Now, what am I saying? Am I saying it's not possible to look like a lot of them? No, I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm just saying it's very unlikely. Hello, guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to look at five reasons why you cannot look like your favorite movie stars or your favorite Instagram models. So we're going to start this off with a bit of a taboo topic, and that is PEDs. And for those of you who don't know, that stands for performance enhancing drugs. Now, the harsh reality of it is that most Instagram models and especially movie stars. Don't even get me started on movie stars, but I will get into that, so I will actually get started on it. <laughs> right, now what am I saying? Am I saying it's not possible to look like a lot of them? No, I'm not saying it's not possible, I'm just saying it's very unlikely. If you're training for six hours a day, which you're not, nobody does, then you at least have to be taking some crazy amount of supplements, and by supplements I don't mean protein, I mean drugs. So the harsh reality of it is that most Instagram models, especially men, are taking performance enhancing drugs. Well, I think it's harsh to say most, I would say many, at least many of them. And the reason they look so good is because of this. And don't get me wrong, they definitely all work super hard, have an excellent diet, lifestyle, and so on. And it's also their job to do this. Now, I'm not saying that they're all taking the hard stuff, for example, Trendalone, the holy grail of the muscle building world. No, I'm not saying that. They might be taking something like hormone replacement therapy, Anavar, things like that. And, and to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about this subject, so I won't get into it too much, but it's highly obvious that a lot of them are taking. And then that's not only the men, there's definitely a lot of women at this, taking performance enhancing drugs that we don't know about. It's a lot harder to build muscle than you think, unless you have amazing genetics. And a lot of women are taking performance enhancing drugs as well. Maybe just a little bit, but a lot of them are still taking something. And not to mention all the plastic surgery that they're going through. Boob jobs to enhance their chest, to enhance that arrow glass figure they're getting all kinds of fat injected into their ass to make their butt look bigger some people get implants and i mean it's just insane and they're raising the bar to a level that isn't achievable for most people unless you've got one in a million type genetics now what am i saying am i saying without peds it's not possible to look like a lot of them no i'm not saying it's not possible i'm just saying it's very unlikely some of you will be able to get close to that level of physique some of you but very few of you will be able to be on par and achieve that level of physique but is it likely no it's not likely now just a side note a side rant on Hollywood film stars. Let's take The Rock, for example, okay? And you two jabronis don't even have enough class to introduce yourself? What is your name? Detective it doesn't matter what your name is! The Rock, I love The Rock. I mean, The Rock has been used as an example for many people. The Rock doesn't deny that he's taken some sort of performance enhancing drug, but he also doesn't tell you that he's taken them. I mean, it's easy to see. If you look at The Rock when he was in professional wrestling, at the age of which you're going to maximize your potential in terms of growth, in terms of, in terms of natural hormones, when he was in his early 30s, even, even your late 20s, you're looking at at maxing out if you've been training for like five six seven years plus so look the rock is way bigger now than he was when he was doing wrestling and why is that hmm hmm um because he's taking but that being said it's not a bad thing i'm sure he's got all the best doctors on hand looking after what he does making sure that he's doing it healthily not overdosing in any way so on and so forth and what we have to remember is that these guys have roles to play. They have to look a certain way for the film that they want to make and they have to get it done quickly. If you're out of shape and they say to you, look, I need you to look like this in two months. I need you to get shredded, lose body fat, get in really good shape. And this isn't just a rock, this is a lot of other film stars. If they tell you that you need to look this way in two months, trust me, it is not possible without a little bit of help on the side if you know what I mean. Now, if you've already got quite a well-muscled guy or girl, then all they have to do is lose some body fat and they can look amazing. That isn't so hard, but to lose body fat and put on muscle at a fast rate, well, that's just not possible without the help of drugs. Right, so that's my side rant over on movie stars. Now, I'd mentioned genetics earlier and genetics is number two on the list. So we'll look at someone like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Is that how you say his name? I don't know. So we'll look at someone like Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay? So this guy in his prime, huge, well-built, beautifully muscular guy, what a lot of guys want to look like, maybe not that big, but Arnold. Now, Arnold admitted to being on steroids. And now, don't forget, to win Mr. Olympia, the greatest bodybuilding stage of all time, you obviously have to have amazing genetics. Usain Bolt, for example, the fastest man in the world, you have to have amazing genetics. You can't just work hard to get there you have to have chosen your parents right, okay? So that being said, people with amazing genetics that aren't on PEDs can develop a great physique. 
Now, Arnold Schwarzenegger, if he wasn't taking PEDs, he would have still looked amazing. He just wouldn't have been as big, maybe just not as shredded on stage. But my point is, if you have amazing genetics, you can bring your physique to quite a high level. But the fact of the matter is that most of us don't have amazing genetics and that's just the way it is. Now that's talking about Arnold, a male. If we use a female, for example, the good news is that it's a bit easier to look really good as a female because the preferred body type for a woman isn't having really big muscles. It's more so along having a nice toned body, having some nice shape, not having too high a body fat and just generally looking in proportion. Now the last note on number two genetics is that some people on a very rare occasion, again, it will be more women because women don't have to do as much to gain the preferred body type if you want to grow as much muscle as possible as a woman it's obviously going to be the same for a man because that comes down to relativity but what i was saying is that a handful of people can actually look good without doing a whole lot of things like without watching their diet without going to the gym a lot just because their genetics are amazing right so those are two of the five points and they are pretty much out of your control unless you decide to go ahead and take performance enhancing drugs the other three are actually within your control and the reality of it is that brings me to number three which is dedication is that most people just aren't dedicated enough most of you are just too lazy i'm sorry to say it but it's the truth most of you don't want to put at least four days a week of hard work into the gym you don't want to be attentive with your diet full time which is pretty much what it takes yes you can take cheat days you can take cheat meals but what usually happens is the one cheat meal turns into a cheat day and that turns into a cheat week which turns into a cheat life and uh, i'm sorry for laughing but it's funny because it's true right now let's go on to number four number four is how much importance does it have to you do you want it and i don't mean do you kind of want it what i mean is do you really really want it how much priority does it hold in your life we all know that if you want something bad enough you will find a way to do it you'll make time you'll prioritize i mean you had enough time today to screw around on social media you had enough time to watch netflix you had enough time to make dinner and don't laugh at that one we can meal prep so if you want to change that prioritize your time like i said for example meal prep plan your day and if you truly want it you'll find time to do it with that being said that brings me on to my fifth and final point and that is your planning and preparation is poor Ooh, it's hot as a mother in here i need to I need to open up some window everybody in the neighborhood's gonna hear me now thinking i'm a lunatic but sure we'll keep going with it will he so if you're looking to add a certain amount of gym time exercise to your routine you definitely have to plan and prepare ahead because it is going to take at least an hour of your day your precious time that you couldn't find the time to make yes two of these pointers taking peds and having amazing genetics are pretty much out of your control but you can definitely control the other factors like your dedication how important it is to you and your preparation and planning if you can get a hold of these things you can develop an amazing physique maybe not to the level of all these outliers on instagram or all the movie stars that are on all of the good stuff but yes you can achieve a very respectable physique even if you have poor genetics <laughs>